Yeah. No, I don't know why July has been overlooked. If you watch uh, financial TV, everybody says June or September, and it's moved from June to September, and September is probably the most likely date, but I don't know why they don't look at July 29th. Here's my rationale. Uh, they can't do it in June. They can't do it tomorrow or today, your time, because uh, they've got a negative first quarter GDP sitting there. But in July, on July 29th, they'll have the first estimate of the second quarter GDP, which should be much better. And if they won't cover to do it, that should give it to them. Well, Governor McTeer, I mean, you were the Dallas Fed president for, wow, I mean, 14 years, 91 to 2005. I'm trying to get into the head of, uh, you know, Fed Bank president, into, you know, Janet Yellen's head to think what is so wrong with hiking 25 basis points. One and done, get it over with, rip the Band-Aid off, and, you know, everyone knows it's coming just to, you know, get it over with. I, I agree with you uh, absolutely, Re regardless of when's the best time to do it. The markets are skittish, and we have these tantrums, and we lose uh, value in the equity markets because of it. Why not get it started and show the world it's, it's no big deal? What do you mean no big deal, though, Mr. McTeer? At a, at a very, very sensitive, sensitive skittish time like this, we still don't know what the borders of Europe are going to Gonna, gonna look like, wouldn't that magnify the effect, the negative effect, maybe the, the capital exit if, well, well, not if, I guess the question is when they actually go ahead and pull. Well, we're talking about uh, right now for several years, it's been zero to a quarter yeah. percent. If you made it quarter percent or even half percent, you know, that's still ridiculously low. And uh, it would just be a baby step toward normalization. I, I just can't see how that it could make that much uh, that much difference after the first few hours. Okay, well, Bob, I guess people are haunted by the ghosts of 1937, 1999, they say, 1994. You know, just uh, some of the historical missteps of uh, too early tightening. Do you think that's the case here with the Fed? Well, I don't think there's, they're in danger of too early tightening. <laughs> they may be in danger of too late tightening. Um, in 37, that was a whole big, big other deal where they uh, raised reserve requirements to mop up ex excess reserves that really weren't excess in the minds of the bankers. And they were after uh, Ben Bernanke to do that this time, and he, he knew that history well enough to avoid it. So that's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. I was there in uh, in '94. I didn't realize we right. were uh, we were so abrupt then, but I guess in retrospect mm -hmm. we could have gone a little slower.